Berg's back. This is a my uh, predictions for Donald Trump over the next few months and the next several years. Well, over the next probably month or so, he's going to keep on pursuing legal avenues the next few weeks to a month, you know, to try to get this reversed or something. It's not going to work. But he's going <clears> to <throat> he's going to eventually he's either going to try to make a deal that he'll uh, concede only if he's granted uh, immunity because there's a lot of He's looking at a lot of lawsuits, impossible uh, jail time from the uh, Southern District of New York, uh, tax evasion, all sorts of things. So what could possibly happen is, well, first off, I don't think he'll ever concede because, he, you know, he's already said fake news, rigged, it's rigged, voter fraud. The mail-in ballots, which I've lived in Washington State for 28 years, and we've had mail-in ballots for over 10, and it's I never I never heard of any fraud out here. You know, maybe maybe there's a couple couple uh, cases I don't know, but not enough to swing the election results. So I think what possibly could happen is. He could resign from office before January 20th, 20, 2021, which is the inauguration date for Biden. He could resign. Also, he's going to do a lot of pardons. He's going to pardon a bunch of people. And then maybe on the day before January 19th, maybe he'll resign from office, and then Vice President Pence, Pence will become president for one day, and then he'll pardon, give a total pardon to Trump, and then he'll have immunity for his lifetime, I think, I don't know, and then after that, I think you're going to see Trump, oh yeah, yeah, and then also, until now, until then, he's going to golf. I mean, uh, Trump is going to golf, 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 golf. Just just keep on putting money on the, on, on the tab, you know. There's already a website called TrumpGolfWatch.com. Remember how he said in 2015? He said, if I become the president... I'm not going to have time for vacations or golf. Because he was talking about how much, uh, you know, Obama golfed. Trump, TrumpGolfCount.com. So far he's golfed 285 times in less than four years. Cost to the taxpayer $142 million. Because he has to have all the Secret Service come with him and all that. So even though he says, oh, okay, I don't uh, take my salary, which is $400,000 a year, I take $1, well, he's, he's cost the pet, uh, taxpayers $142 million in less than four years. So he's been doing a, he's going to be doing a lot of golfing for the next two and a half months. Okay, and then after he leaves office, this is my opinion, he's going to start some kind of, like an Alex Jones... Uh, type of show like uh, Infowars. <clears throat> I don't know if it will be a podcast or on a uh, cable uh, TV. Maybe called the Trump the Trump News Network, like the Boyd News Network or the Bergs News Network. Maybe like the TNN, the Trump News Network. I don't know. He'll have a bunch of uh, conspiracy people on there, right wingers. He'll uh, keep his name out there. Uh, he'll have his sons on there, just, you know, just a bunch of people, Steve Bannon, all those, <clears throat> all those guys, just like Alex Jones, Infowars, and then, uh, 
he he actually can run for office again in 2024. I think he'll keep his name out there because we know he is a sore loser and he's going to be butthurt for a long time, right? But then uh, eventually, I mean, over, over 71, million, 71 million Americans did vote for him. For 76 million voted for Biden. I think he has, the saw on TV, he has Biden is up uh, with a popular vote, 4.6 million more votes than Trump, but 95% of the vote is uh, counted, counted already. So the bottom line is this. So he's going to keep himself out there, his name out there. And then I think you're going to start seeing him do rallies again in a couple years. Make America uh, Great Again rallies. After the pandemic, hopefully he's over by then. And I can see him running again, possibly in 2024. He'll be 77, 78, the same age as Biden. Biden's obviously going to be a one-termer. And uh, if he even makes it through the term. So then, who would he be running up against? He would be running up against Harris. Because Harris, is, being the uh, vice president... Uh, she'll be the leading Democratic candidate. We know how much Trump hates strong women. So I think he would actually like to run up against her. And he might he might, he might have a good chance. So for all you uh, Trump lovers out there, don't worry. He's not going to go away. And he could possibly run again and become president again in four years. That being said, Berg's out.